All right, grade eights, we are moving on to 6.2 today. So we are on unit four, um, studying chapter six, fraction operations. So you should have your notes out or you can be following along um, on Google Classroom. The notes are available there as well. And you can be taking notes as I teach. So we're gonna scroll through to page six. So past our intro, past 6.1, past the assigned problems for 6.1, to here is 6.2, where it starts with a non-calculator warm-up. So this is 6.2, page 6. And so we're starting with some review from grade 7. So determine the unknown values for each problem below. So 2 and 1 third plus 1 fourth equals 2 and A over B. We need to solve to check what is the A and the B going to equal. So first step, I need to convert my mixed fraction to an improper fraction so that's easier. So 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So my... A new improper fraction is going to be 7 over 3, my denominator does not change, plus 1 fourth. Now I need to find a common denominator between 3 and 4. So if I appear right out the multiples of 3, I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and the first 5 multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. All right, so the lowest common uh, multiple is 12. So I'm going to make these both out of 12. So 7 over 3, I'm going to times it by 4 to get 12. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And that's going to be 28 over 12. And then the 4 to get to my lowest common multiple of 12, I need to times it by 3. What I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So I have 28 over 12 plus 3 over 12. And actually, I'm going to um, erase a little bit so that I can write up here. 28 over 12 plus 3 over 12. So 28 plus 3, remember when you're adding or subtracting fractions, your denominator does not change, so it's still over 12. 28 plus 3 gives me 31 over 12. Or as a mixed fraction, what would that be? Pause and solve for yourself. All right, so 31 over 12, 12 goes into 31 two times. 2 times 12 is 24, 31 minus 12, give me 7. Oh, sorry, not 31 minus 12, 31 minus 24. So 2 times 12 is 24, 31 minus 24 is 7. So my final answer is 2 and 7 over 12. Okay, and then next for our warm-up, we have a multiplication question. So 5 over 2 times 3 over 2 is going to be what as a mixed fraction? What's the rule for multiplying um, two fractions together? You multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. So 5 times 3 over 2 times 2. 5 times 3 is 15. 2 times 2 is 4. So now I have 15 over 4. Or how many times can 4 go into 15 to make a mixed fraction? Still going to be at a 4. 4 goes into 15 three times. 
3 times 4 is 12. So subtracting 12, my final answer is going to be 3 and 3 fourths. It's a very bad 3. Sorry, I'm writing this with my finger on the touchpad because I don't have my pen. Okay, so this should all be reviewed. Now we're looking at, for 6.2, dividing a fraction by a whole number. So uh, we've been dealing with mostly multiplication. Um, you're going to see really quickly that divi division is just as easy as multiplication of fractions. In fact, it's almost the same thing. So I'll explain what that means. Let's look at two-thirds divided by four. First, we need to draw two-thirds. So I'm going to shade in two out of three on here, really nice and pretty, probably better than that. And now, let's divide two-thirds. So how do I divide two-thirds by four? Well, let's read. How would this look? Well, we need to divide each of the fraction strips into four pieces. Now we need to look at our shaded reason, region, two-thirds, and divide it into four equal groups. What fraction of the whole is represented by each shaded group? So I'm going to take my two-thirds again and divide each shaded region into four. Maybe I'll pick a different color. So we have... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I need to do the same to the non-shaded group. So I'm going to divide this into four as well. So notice now we have how many shaded tiles? There is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, we maybe have too many shaded in there. Oh, no. Eight out of twelve. If we divide this by 4, the 8 by 4, now what do we have out of 12? So we have 8 shaded out of 12. Divide that by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So now we have just 2 out of 12. From the, if we divide the 1 third, by four, we now have one out of four pieces and one out of four pieces for the second third, that's two over 12. So I have represented two out of 12 here. We're gonna explain this in a little bit more detail. But two over 12, you should know how to convert this to lowest terms. They're both divisible by two. 2 over 12 or 1 6. So that makes sense that 2 thirds, if I divide it by 4, see what my rule is down here. If you divide a fraction by a whole number, your resulting fraction should be a smaller fraction. Think about it. A fraction divided up would result in a smaller part of the whole. So that's using manipulatives. Another way to look at it would be using a number line. So, two-thirds divided by four. To model the division, we need to show a number line that models thirds. So here we have zero, one-third, two-thirds. Since we are dividing by four, we need to cut each third into four equal parts. So I have zero, and then I have one, two, three, and then one-third makes four. One, two, three, and two thirds makes four. So this is showing I'm splitting up two thirds into fours. 
2 thirds divided by 4. Notice each new line tick represents how many. So now I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And to divide my last one up by thirds, 1, 2, 3, 4. Out of 12 now, like it was with our manipulative. So 12 pieces. Can I spell this here? Really messily, 12 pieces. We now need to divide 2 thirds into 4 equal groupings. What fraction of the whole is represented by each grouping? Well, if I look in my textbook on page 206, they've done this problem for us. So we have 2 thirds divided by 4. You're expressing the quotient in lowest terms. You draw your um, number line with thirds. Divide each third into four equal parts. There are 12 parts in the whole, so each part is 1 twelfth. And then we use brackets to cut 2 thirds into four equal parts. So I have 2 thirds and I need four parts. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 little ticks. So divide it by 4. Um, I'll have two ticks under each bracket. Or two tallies out of 12. So let's go back and do that here, messily. Okay, so I have one, two, one, two tallies, one, two tallies, one, two tallies. So there are two pieces in each group out of the total being 12. So my answer again is going to be 2 out of 12. So what do we notice here? The rule. This is all way more complicated than the actual um, numerical math, I think. But the rule, if we have 2 thirds divided by 4 equals 2 twelfths, what rule do you think we can apply to dividing fractions by a whole number? What number changes here? Looking at 2 thirds and 2 twelfths, which number in the fraction changes? You're right, the bottom number. So the rule is the 4 multiplies to the denominator when we are dealing with a whole number times a fraction. We only change the numerator. So like 1 fourth times 2, the we only multiply the numerator. When we're dividing, we actually flip it and, and, and multiply the denominator. So the whole number multiplies to the bottom. And no, we should reduce the fraction to 1 6. So if we stop and think, when we divide a number by 2, we're dividing a number by 2. We also say we're taking half of the number. So divide by 2 is the same as timesing it by 1 half. When we divide a number by 3, we're taking a third of the number. So we divide by 3 or we times it by a third. And when we divide a number by 4, we're taking a quarter or one fourth of the number. 
so we times it by 1 fourth. So 3 over 4 divided by 2 is the same as 3 fourths times 1 half. So 3 over 4 divided by 2 is the same as saying 1 half. We know how to do 3 fourths times a half. 3 times 1 is 3. 4 times 2 is 8. My final answer is going to be 3 over 8. So what's the rule when we are actually multiplying? Or when we are dividing? We actually are just going to change it to multiplication, which is what we already know. So the rule, what do we notice here? When you see division of a whole number, you're going to change to multiplication and then times by 1 over the whole number. So the number 2 can be written as a fraction. We've already gone over this when we're multiplying a whole number by a fraction. 2 is the same as saying 2 over 1. 4, 4 over 1. 9, 9 over 1. So if we have 1 half divided by 2, it's the same as saying 1 half divided by 2 over 1. We don't know how to divide, so we're going to flip it and do multiplication. 1 half. Now we're flipping this times 1 half. So 1 half divided by 2. Oops. Is the same as 1 half times 1 half. which is 1 over 4, which makes sense. We've divided it by 2. It should be getting smaller. So we'll pause there, and you can watch the next video for the next page.